The early influences on development that you want to be familiar with for the exam include genetic contributions, chromosomal abnormalities, and teratogens. With regard to genetic contributions, most traits are polygenic, which means they're determined by multiple genes. Height, weight, skin color, and temperament are polygenic traits. Other traits are the result of a single pair of genes that contains a dominant gene or two recessive genes. When a trait is due to a dominant gene, a person will exhibit that trait whether he or she inherited the dominant trait from both parents or from only one parent. Traits and disorders that are due to a dominant gene include curly hair, brown eyes, farsightedness, and Huntington's disease. When a trait is due to a recessive gene, a person will exhibit that trait only when he or she inherited the recessive gene from both parents. Traits and disorders due to a pair of recessive genes include straight hair, green eyes, color blindness, cystic fibrosis, and Tay-Sachs disease. Homozygous and heterozygous are terms related to genetic inheritance that you want to be familiar with. Alleles are the alternate forms of a gene that controls a particular trait. When the alleles for a trait that a child inherits from both parents are the same, for example, they're both for brown eyes, the child is homozygous for eye color. In contrast, when the alleles for a trait that a child inherits from his or her parents differ, the child is heterozygous with regard to that trait. If a child inherits the allele for brown eyes from one parent and the allele for green eyes from the other parent, the child is heterozygous for eye color. And in this situation, because brown eyes is a dominant trait and green eyes is a recessive trait, the child will have brown eyes. You also want to know the difference between genotype and phenotype. Genotype refers to characteristics that are determined by information that's coded on the genes, while phenotype refers to observable characteristics that are affected by genetic and environmental factors. Height is a characteristic that's influenced by both heredity and environment. While a person may be genetically predisposed to being tall because both of his parents are taller than average, the person may end up being average height or shorter as an adult due to poor nutrition during childhood.